Hey guys, the Red Devil's back again, and this is something a little different. Instead of doing a lyrics video or a reaction video, I'm doing my own versions of Ash Ketchum's teams in the Pokemon anime. And like Pokedan and Entity Maze, I will be going from Kanto to Carlos since I literally cannot change anything to Ash's Alolan team or Gala team. I like them just the way they are. And all the changes I do to his teams will be my opinion and I would like you to res to respect them. So please so please respect my opinions and I shall respect yours in the in the comments sex sex section below if you are new to this channel then then please don't forget to leave a like hit the sub subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll get no notified every time i upload a new vid video but anyway let's begin with my versions of ash's teams okay so let's begin with ash's kanto team being pikachu butterfree pidgeot bulbasaur Charizard, Squirtle, Kingler, Primeape, Muck, Tauros times 30, Lapras, and Snorlax. And oh my gosh, that is a mouthful. The Pokemon I've decided I've decided for Ash to keep are his Pikachu, obviously, Bulbasaur, Charizard, Squirtle, and Primeape. And he will still capture his Butterfree, Muck, Lapras, and Snorlax. These Pokemon are not going anywhere, and the same things will still go down in the in the storyline, like Butterfree being released and Lapras going back to its family. In instead of Ash giving his Primeape away to that idiot and never going back for, for it, I've, I've decided for Ash to keep it since I think pr Primeape actually suits Kanto Ash very well. I've also decided for Squirtle to fully evolve into a Blastoise. Ben and Dan both gave Ash an Ivysaur and kept Squirtle as it was to have the three Pokemon starters on each stage, but I decided to give Ash Blastoise so he can have a true rivalry with Gary's Blastoise over whose is better. I've, de I've decided to go with this because even though I can see Ash having Ivysaur, I can't really see him having an Ivysaur on the team I made for him. So I, de so I decided to leave it as a, bul as a Bulbasaur saw and it also gave me the idea on how Ash's bul 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 Bulbasaur can look up to its idols and believe in himself, also having Charizard and Blastoise supporting Bulbasaur no matter what and encouraging him to never give up. And the sixth Pokemon for my version of Ash's Kanto team is Haun is Haunter. Even though Ash has a Gengar on his Gala team, imagine what it would have been like if he had actually caught that ha Haunter who just tagged along and agreed to help him defeat Sabrina instead of just giving it to Sabrina after it had made her laugh. I seriously think it, it would have think it would have helped out Ash a lot, and I would and I would evolve it into a Gengar for his Kanto team if he did if he didn't have one on his Gala team. So this is my version of, of Ash's Kanto team. It might not be a good team for Ash, but I, but I like it. Honorable mention goes to Alakazam, a Pokemon I could def definitely see Ash using in battle. Moving on from Ash's Kanto team, we now have his Johto team, which is Pikachu, Her Heracross, Bayleaf, Saint Sandyquil, Totodile, Noct Noctowl, and Fanpy. The Pokemon I've decided to 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 keep for this team are Pikachu, Her Heracross, Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Noctowl. I've taken Bayleaf off since I'm not a huge fan of a huge fan of Meg. Ganium, and I think it suits Casey more than it suits Ash. By the way, Casey is here. I've also decided for decided for Tot Totodile to fully evolve into Feraligatr and Cyndaquil to evolve into Quilava in Johto instead of Sinnoh. I can def definitely see Ash's Fur Fur for Ralligator having the same person personality as it did when it was a Tot 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 a Totodile, always being cheerful and would also have moves like Hydro Pump and Ice Punch and even Bite. And I can def definitely see Johto Ash having Quilava instead of Sinnoh Ash, but Ash will still capture Fanpy since it hatched from an egg. His Don Fan is not going anywhere. And the new Pokemon I'm adding to his Johto team is Sneasel. I thought this Pokemon would have worked with Ash very well since he did not own a Dark or Ice type while he was in the Johto re re region, but in addition to, to that, Dark and Steel types were the two new types in Johto, and it would would have been really cool for Ash to have one as a way as a way to show off the brand new types. The Steel types didn't really suit Ash in my 
opinion, so a dark type like Sneasel would have would have worked great. Sneasel would have also help, helped out Ash a lot in the Pokemon gyms, since it has the upper hand against three of them: Faulkner's Flying Gym, Morty's Ghost Gym, and Claire's Dragon Gym. And Ash and Ash is a lot better with 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 speedy Pokemon, so. So, so Sneasel is abs is absolutely perfect for for him. Two honorable men mentions this time being Espeon and Gligar. The reason these two Pokemon are 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 honorable men mentions in instead of being on the team is because Ben gave Ash es Espeon and Dan gave him G Gly Gligar, and I can see why. Very wise choices. Now it's time for Ash's Hoenn team, which is Pikachu, Swallow, Sceptile, Crawfish, Torkoal, Glalie, and Apop. The Pokemon I'm keeping for this team are Pikachu, Swallow, Sceptile, and Crawfish. One of the new members is the Larvitar that hatched from an egg and that Ash took care of until returning it to its mother. But instead of La Larvitar staying with its mother, it it would have stayed with Ash and gone with him, and gone with him and P and Pikachu to Hoenn. And I think it would have helped out Ash a lot. I can see it evolving into a Pupitar after his battle against the fire type gym leader Flannery. And I can see Pupitar evolving into a Tyranitar during his battle against the psychic type gym, lead gym leaders Tate and Liza. So onto the team it goes. And the other new member for my version of Ash's Hoenn team is Flygon. Every time I see this dragon and ground type, it just screams Ash to me. I can def def definitely see him using one in battle. I can def definitely see Ash using a trap inch in battle and seeing it evolve into Vibrava and then into Flygon. I seriously think these two Pokemon suit Hoenn Ash very well. Even though Ash does not have a fire type on this team, he does have the three types which are super effective against fire those being water, rock, and ground. And Flygon and Tyranitar can even learn some fire type moves. Honorable mention on this team goes to Sableye, a Pokemon I can 100% see Ho and Ash using in battle and helping him out a lot. Moving on from Hoenn, we are now on Ash's Sinnoh team, being Pikachu, Star Raptor, Tor, Tor, Tor Terror, Infernape, Boo. Bo Weasel, Gliscor, and Gibble. This one was act actually quite simple as the Pokemon I kept were Pikachu, Infernape, Bo Weasel, Gliscor, and Gibble. I took Star Raptor off since I'm not a huge fan of it and Torterra since I only liked it as a Turtwig but as it evolved it got more, it got more boring. I've decided to keep Gliscor since its only two weak weaknesses are water and ice, and having no effect to, il to electric attacks due to also being a ground type, un unlike Star, Star Raptor. I'm also going to have Gibble evolve into a Gabite, since I really wanted Ash's Gibble to at least evolve into Gabite or Garchomp at some point. I really thought it would evolve into a Gabite after learning Draco Meteor, but I was wrong. But in my version, it will evolve and become even stronger along with, with its mates. And the sixth Pokemon for his Sinnoh Sino team is Lucario. I know Ash has a Riolu on his Gala team, but like Gengar, imagine what it would have been like if he, if he caught a Riolu in Sinnoh and evolving it into Lucario. Things would be completely different, and I can def definitely see him using it in battle against the Ice type gym leader Candice. So, this is my completed version of Ash's Sinnoh team. It may look unbalanced with him having two fighting types and two ground types, but I think it suits Ash very well. There are no honourable men mentions in, in this one. Moving on from Sinnoh, we are now on Ash's Uni Unova team, the worst one of all time. Ash's team being Pikachu, Unpheasant, Oshawott, Pignite, Snivy, Scraggy, Le Levani, Palpitoed, Bulldore, and Crocodile. The Pokemon I'm going, going, going to be keeping for this one are Pikachu, Oshawott, Pignite, Levani, and Crocodile. I had, to, I had to take Ash's Unpheasant off, since it's the worst Pokemon I've ever seen Ash own. 
and I think the others didn't really suit him that well or they were just a failure in battle. I kept a Crocodile since I think it's one of Ash's best Unova Pokemon and I kept Livani since I think it did a better job in battle than Snivy, but I might be wrong. And I'm going to have Pignight evolve into an Embor since Embor is my favourite Pokemon of all time. I know a lot of fans don't like it at all, but I think it looks very cool. I'm also going to have Oshawott evolve into a Duot, since since I can def definitely see Ash using a Duot in battle, but I can't really see him using a Samurott in battle. Dan had Ash's Oshawott evolve after losing a gym battle with the ground type gym leader Clay, but I will have it evolve during that battle against the Clay's Krokorok. When it, when it seems like Oshawott is going to lose, it shows Ash how strong it has become by evolving into Duot and defeating a Krokorok with a double razor shell instead of a single razor shell. And the new Pokemon I'm adding to this team is Archeops. You guys may think I'm crazy, but I can see this fossil po Pokemon helping Ash out a lot. Plus, I think it would do a much better job than Unpheasant, and I can also see him using it in battle against various other opponents. An another reason it's on the team is that I can see Ash ca catching an Arken after he save saves it from Team Rocket after they try to smuggle it for themselves, and Arken decides to thank Ash by wanting to join his team and battle. I can also see Arken evolving and becoming even more powerful. So this is my version of Ash's Unifer team and person personally, I think it looks good and suits Unifer Ash very well. Two honourable mentions this time going to Bra Braviary and High Dragon. I can def definitely see Ash owning these two Pokemon and using them in battle at different times. Finally, we are on Ash's Carlos team, which is very unbalanced, being Pikachu, Gren, Ninja, Talonflame, Holucha, Gudra, and Noivern. The Pokemon I'm keeping for this team are Pikachu, Gren, Ninja, Talonflame, and Gudra. I decided to 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 take Holucha and Noivern off since Ash really on, only needs one Flying type and one Dragon Dragon type. I kept Talonflame since Ash normally catches the catches the re, the regional birds of. Of, of every re region and I obviously had 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 to keep G Gudra since it's Ash's best Carlos Pokemon but it did awful in the Carlos League. It only got one draw and one loss. But it still but it still remains as one of Ash's best Pokemon of all time. One of the new Pokemon for Ash's Carlos team. Now before I reveal who it is, this was harder than I thought. There weren't really any Pokemon I, I could think of that I could take Holucha and Noivern's place. But in the end, I dis I decide I decided to go with the Pokemon that Ben and Dan gave Ash for his Carlos Carlos team. Ben gave Ash Aeg Aeg Aegislash, and I can def definitely see why he did why he did did that. Aegislash really suits Ash a lot, and I can def def definitely see him using it in battle, since it since it is Finn Finn. Phenomenal against five. Yes, I said five out of the eight po Pokemon gyms, with its Steel and Ghost type attacks being super effective against Rock, fighting very Psychic and Ice. And I'm still annoyed that they that they gave it to Sawyer instead of Ash. Oh well. And Dan gave Ash that shiny Phantom, and I can def definitely see why he gave that to Ash. When I first saw this shiny po Pokemon, I I really thought Ash was Ash was going to catch it because I had seen a video where Ash's team wasn't com com completed yet and someone predicted that he would catch a phantom and I was pretty annoyed that he did that he did not so I'm going to have Ash catch it instead of him not catching it I know this looks unbalanced with Ash having two ghost types on this team but at least he has a steel type and a grass type and I think this is a very good team for Carlos Ash. Honorable mention, I don't know why, but Ben and Dan both gave an honorable mention to Go Goat, and others e even put Go Goat on 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 Ash's Carlos team. I I really cannot see Ash owning this Pokemon or using it in battle at all. But since Ben and Dan gave an honorable mention to Go 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 Goat, I'm giving Go Goat an honorable men mention too.
And that is all, I really hope you enjoyed my versions of Ash Ketchum Steams in the Pokemon anime, and Ben and Dan, if either of you are watching this, full, full credit goes to both, both of you, and if you are new to this channel, and if you haven't already, then please don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on not no notifications, so you'll get no notified every time I upload a new video, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, bye!